As the Buddha said, don't be heedless of acts of merit. The word heedless in Pali can also mean don't underestimate. So here we are meditating for just a few minutes, but don't underestimate what can be done in a few minutes. You get the mind to settle down. You never know when the insights are going to come. Sometimes the hunter goes out and has to sit in the forest and very quiet for a long time before anything comes along. Some other times he goes out and within a few minutes he's got what he wants. So you never know. So try to be earnest in even the small amounts of meditation, the little tiny times you take for yourself, little meditation breaks you take throughout the day. Sometimes some interesting insights can come. And especially because you know you have only a little bit of time, you should be extra meticulous with yourself. Even the slightest little movements that would go out and think about something else not related to the breath, you've got to cut them off right away. Remember the Buddha's instructions for how to be in the present moment. It's interesting that when he talks about pulling all your attention into the present moment, it's always in the context of death reflections. You could die at any moment, so you have a little bit of time. You know you've got this much. You don't know how much more you've got than this. But as you breathe in, you know, well, at least I'll be breathing out. So try to do something good with that one breath, and then the next breath, and then the next breath. Be on top of yourself. This is Jean Lee makes the comment, even little things, if they're really good, can be worth a lot more than just a lot of garbage. He makes a comparison with a banknote. You can have a banknote that's worth a thousand baht, five hundred dollars. And then you can have bushels and bushels of newsprint, which are not worth anything at all. It's paper, but there's a difference to the quality. And there's a difference to the intentness that's put into that piece of paper, in the same way with the mind. You apply your intentness to the mind. It heightens the quality of the mind. You pay full attention to what you're doing. That moment is worth a lot more. So don't underestimate the little times of meditation, the little meditation breaks you can take throughout the day. Sometimes as you're slipping in into concentration, you notice that something you didn't notice before. Or as you're in concentration, things will come up that you didn't notice before. So always be primed. The game you want can come at any time. So always be alert. Even if it's just for a little while, you know that something can be accomplished by it. And give it all your attention as a result.